What is up, investors? And welcome back to the Everything Crypto Show, where we bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets, DeFi tutorials on how you can optimize your crypto to earn some juicy yield, as well as deep dives on projects we see as having huge potential for the future. Now, as always, please remember that I am not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. Rather, my own thoughts, opinions, and research that I have compiled and broken down for viewer education and entertainment purposes only. Please invest responsibly. I want this community to thrive and i love and appreciate you all and on that note we're going to get right into today's chronos content and today we are on part three of the five part series crow coin explained as we go ahead and enter the chronos chain now the chronos chain here essentially runs parallel to the crypto.org chain it was created on november 8th of 2021 i guess it was not enough for crypto.com to have one blockchain they had to have two and the chronos chain aims to massively scale the chain and DeFi ecosystem and speaking of massively scaling i am really hoping to scale this channel so if you do enjoy the content if i did teach you something new about the crypto markets or if i just helped offer you a bit of a different perspective please consider hitting that sub and like button it costs you guys nothing and it does mean a whole lot to me anyways back to the actual information um it does actually aim to massively scale the chain DeFi ecosystem by providing developers with the ability to rapidly port apps from ethereum and evm compatible chains with access to the massive user base of the crypto.com ecosystem and the funding from the chronos ecosystem grants chronos based settlement currency is crow which is why we are talking about this as it is very relevant to crow coin itself which is also the native currency of the crypto.org chain as we discussed in part two chronos coin is one token made for two different blockchains and the inter blockchain communications otherwise known as ibc protocol enables interoperability and bridging to the crypto.org chain a fully decentralized open source energy efficient public chain with high speed and extremely low fees it, and this also allows for interoperating with other ibc enabled chains for example the cosmos hub and that is because chronos was actually built on cosmos which is best known as the internet of blockchains and ever expanding ecosystem of interconnected apps and services built for a decentralized future and it would appear to definitely be a popular choice for centralized exchanges looking to launch their own smart chain as Binance also did actually launch the Binance smart chain on Cosmos as well. Now, I think one of the main reasons that Kronos did decide to actually launch on Cosmos is because of the Ethereum virtual machine and EVM is the widely adopted standard for smart contract development. With EVM compatibility, developers can build the same way they would do on Ethereum and benefit from the same tools and applications, meaning that instead of re-implementing the wheel the crypto.org chain can leverage existing projects and add on top of the high speed and low transaction cost of the cosmos sdk and chronos is an evm sidechain along the main crypto.org chain built on ethermint with smart contract compatibility aiming to empower and scale decentralized applications for the future multi-chain world focusing on use cases of nft DeFi, and payments now cosmos sdk is a modular block blockchain development framework where the components are interdependent so effectively you can develop your own modules to fulfill your application's custom needs in addition to using pre-built modules such as the governance token transfer or ibc otherwise known as inter-blockchain communication so effectively the cosmos sdk is where you are actually able to build out the components of your application on the blockchain now moving on why chronos why would you build out on chronos well for starters it's evm compatible as we just discussed number two it is scalable as it can process more transactions per minute than ethereum making it faster cheaper and greener to execute smart contracts three it is interoperable with the inter blockchain communication protocol which allows bridging to the crypto.org chain and other ibc enabled chains like the cosmos hub number four it runs on proof of authority not proof of stake and what proof of authority is is a more streamlined and scalable consensus mechanism while still maintaining security with a range of validators that many different parties run and five it is open source meaning they welcome all community members to review and provide suggestions to strengthen 
strengthen Kronos as well as to build out on Kronos. Now, taking a look at the current ecosystem here, there are definitely a couple of projects that stand out. It is a very extensive list, and I could not go through all of them, so I just picked the main few that we have personally covered on this channel to really give you guys a good idea of what exactly you can expect on the Kronos chain. And for starters here, we have VVS Finance, which we have covered before as the largest DEX on the Kronos chain at the moment. Then we have MM Finance, which is not the biggest DEX by total value locked, but by complete volume and activity, it is definitely the biggest DEX on the Kronos chain with its DEX, Yield Optimizer, NFT, Algo Stablecoin, and DTF. And this algorithm stablecoin here, I probably shouldn't have mentioned it because it is in some murky water right now, especially after the whole um, Terra Luna situation. But the rest of the MM Finance ecosystem is definitely widely used and uh, from my understanding, definitely a favorite amongst the Kronos community. And last but not least here, this is a project that we actually covered very recently, like on the day of its launch or a day after, and that is Argo Finance, a one-click liquid staking solution. It is the easiest way to stake Crow on Kronos, and what you can effectively do is lock up your Crow in Argo Finance for about 11.9%, so just a little bit lower than the DeFi wallet, and then you can take liquid Crow in return. And with this liquid Crow, you can actually go over to VVS right here, and what you can do is join a liquidity farm between uh, Crow and your Liquid Crow, and you can earn, I believe at the moment, it's at like 40 something percent. By the time this does go live, it'll probably be much uh, lower as more people catch on and contribute to the pool. But you can kind of see how the ecosystem is starting to build out and all connect to each other. So definitely very, very interesting for something that was only built six months ago. Now here we also have Kronos NFTs on Ibisu's Bay, which is effectively the open sea of Kronos. This is the UI interface here, and you can see that they have some very popular NFTs like the Mad Meerkats, the Mad Meerkats Treehouse, and you can actually stake these NFTs to earn additional staking rewards in crypto, which is a very, very cool concept and one of the best utility cases that I have seen for NFTs yet, as well as the Crow Skulls and the Crow Skull Pets, which have been making a lot of waves in recent weeks, and I would expect there to become more and more notable NFTs as time does go on on now more importantly here this is the biggest thing that we have been covering on the channel when it comes to chronos the biggest thing that i have been hyped for and that is the chronos verse with the launch of chronos play which is integrated with Chainsafe gaming sdk and it supports the unity engine and the unreal engine and for those of you that don't know why that is important we will get to that in a second so why should you actually build out on chronos play well for starters they offer multi-platform support with unity and unreal as we just mentioned scale up adoption global reach as you can get exposure to the 10 plus million community members it is highly scalable with transactions that are faster cheaper and greener than ethereum along with the interoperability and you can easily integrate your game on chronos with a few lines of code with the insightful on-chain data wallet authentication and authorization and you can also transfer tokens and nfts into your game so now taking a look at Unity and Unreal here, I think that you guys are going to understand why this is actually such a big deal to focus on this interconnectedness with these two engines. So let me just go ahead and load them both up for you here. And what you're going to see for starters here is that Unity is effectively the leading gaming software developer. And the odds are that if you play any mobile games, you're probably playing on the Unity engine and have not even realized it, as it does allow developers to create their own games by bringing your vision to life with Unity's industry leading tools for building incredible performant gaming experiences and it does also offer a platform to build manage and grow your game where you can build cross-platform multiplayer games manage live operations and create personalized experiences for your players with unity gaming service you can see here some big names that do actually build out on unity including riot games and atari now moving on to unreal engine here i mean if you played fortnite and if you do not play fortnite you probably have a kid or a cousin you probably know somebody that plays fortnite point being that uh, Fortnite here is actually owned by Epic Games, who is the creator of Fortnite, meaning that basically Kronos here is aiming to be interoperable with the biggest players in the gaming industry. It does not surprise me one bit, 
given Crypto.com's very impressive ability to build a brand for themselves and definitely get some very heavy hitters on their team. Now, another example of that here actually comes from Kronos joining the Blockchain Gaming Alliance back in April. And the reason this is so significant is because the Blockchain Gaming Alliance effectively serves as an open forum, bringing together crypto and gaming giants, offering avenues for collaboration. Now, one traditional gaming company in particular that is in the Blockchain Gaming Alliance is Ubisoft. And I definitely think that Kronos is trying to snuggy up to Ubisoft and potentially get them on their side of things. Now, will they be able to do it? I don't know. As we have covered, I think Hedera has a much higher chance of getting Ubisoft to build out on the hash graph, but I would not put anything past Kronos and the Crypto.com team. They are definitely not a team that you want to count out, and that is for sure. As we can see here, you can take a look at the Kronos absurd growth in an eight-month period, and what you'll note is that on November 12th of 2021, we were sitting at a total value locked of 299 mil. Now, this would have been four days after our big launch on November 8th, and you can see here that at the peak of the run, you can see that Kronos was up to 4 billion in total value locked up from this 299 mil. That represented an increase of 1,233% in a matter of just like a six month period. And now given the big pullback in the broader markets, obviously Kronos has not been immune to this. And we have pulled back over 50% from this 4 billion level down to about 1.39 billion. However, what you'll notice here is we're really at levels that we were just at in February of 2022. And more than that, I mean, if you actually put things in a perspective, this level here at 1.39 billion, we are still up 366% from our total value locked on November 12th. So even with the pullback, the growth has been insane. And here is more evidence of that. As you can see, Kronos has not even been out for, you know, it's been out for just over eight months and it is already top 10 amongst all blockchains in TVL. And to me, that's the absolutely wild thing. Like some of these blockchains have been out for like years. They have been, they've had much more time to develop and mature than Kronos has. And Kronos still finds its way sitting in the eighth place spot. And if we actually look at EVM compatible chains, you can see that Kronos' standings are even better as it comes into sixth place here it actually was in fifth place but was uh, recently kicked out by phantom now hey by the time this video is posted maybe it will be back in fifth place we'll have to see but as of the time of this recording it is in sixth place for all evm chains and eighth place amongst all blockchains which in my opinion is just absolutely insane when it comes to a chain that is only eight months old and this is definitely not one that you want to count out as it does continue to mature now the next part of this video the part four of this series is going to be looking at Kronos's future 2022 and beyond we're going to take a look at a few things like Kronos Labs and Kronos Accelerator and how they are really trying to speed up the adoption and development of the Kronos ecosystem and we're also going to take a look at the roadmap that was released at the beginning of the year we're going to look at what they have delivered on so far if they have kept their promises in the roadmap and what we can look forward to for the Kronos chain in the second half of the year so once again i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope it gave you a better understanding of why i am so bullish on the chronos chain and why it makes me more bullish than ever on crow which is really the utility coin at the center of this brand new blockchain that i still think has a lot of room to run and with that said i will catch you guys in part four peace out for now